Doha Bank, first half results, and overall, Qatar and the key performers in the Gulf. That's the subject of discussion. How the Doha Bank has performed? Net profit of 614 million for the first six months as compared to 501 million for the same period in 2020, showing an increase of 22.7%. The bank's net interest income significantly grew by 18.4% as compared to last year to reach 1.3 billion. Net operating income stood at 1.6 billion, growth of 11.3% as compared to the same period last year. The operating cost for the period decreased by 3.1% as compared to the same period last year, thus reducing the cost income ratio to 27.8% from 31.4% showing a bank's productive operational performance. Total assets increased by QR 1.3 billion registering a growth of 1.2 percent from 108 from to 109.3 in 2021 so definitely asset increases there that's 1.3 billion the bank's net loans and advance increased 72.2 billion as of june this year from 62.5 billion for the same period last year registering a, a growth of 15.5 percent customer deposits showed an increase year on year increase 5.5 percent from 56 billion to 59.1 billion which is evidence of the strong liquidity positions of the bank the total equity stood at 14.2 billion as a June 30th, 2021, registering a growth of 6.8%. The bank continued to strengthen its key capitalization ratios, where the total capital adequacy ratio of the bank stood at 20% as of June 30th, 2021, from 17.6% as compared to the same period last year. Given the scale of the operation, the bank has achieved a return average assets of 1.15 as 30th June 2021, 1.15 is the return on assets. Now, if you look at the big picture, net interest increase, net interest in interest income due to drop in interest expenses, nearly 198 million. Drop in fees and commission income due to COVID, 25 million. Net forest income is up 17 million. Net income from investment in securities dropped by 37 million. Increase in impairment of loans and advances 144 million. Reduction in impairment on the other financial assets 26. Reduction in impairment of the investments 60. Reduction in staff expenses and depreciation 14. Improvement in other income 10. Surge in net profit before tax. 119 119 net profit surge is 119 now when it comes to initiatives what are the initiatives Doha Bank has taken the first bank in Qatar to launch a full suite of visa corporate solutions the first bank in Qatar to launch a full suite of visa corporate card solutions Doha Bank client event we did it for South Africa, Sri Lanka bilateral and again China. Qatar economy of course we showcased the improvements which we have had in the marketplace. We also showcased the opportunities for private banking clients. Even for treasuries we did. Doha Bank client even on Qatar, China was more important in, in relative terms because we haven't done it for nearly two years. Now, when it comes to other Qatari banks, Qatar National Bank, wonderful performance, 6.8 billion, that is 
up strong operating income of 6%, loan growth 6% year on year, deposit growth 7.6% through deposit diversification, cost income ratio 22.9% during the first half of 2021, and loan loss provisioning 2.9 billion. This has caused a marginal increase in NPL to 2.3% as of 30th June. Continued conservative policy with regard to provisioning and uh, potential loan losses helped to achieve a coverage ratio of 106% as of 30th June 2021. Qatar Islamic Bank 12%, financing activities by 6.7%. Customer deposits grow 17.6%, cost income ratio 17.5%, net non-performing book, it's very important, non-performing assets 1.4%. The bank continued to create additional precautionary impairment charge and financing assets for Qatar Rials. Financing as of 30th June was improved in relative terms to compare to last year. Alali Bank Qatar, they made a profit of 0.31 billion, that is 310 million. Qatar Islamic Bank was 1.6 billion. Qatar National Bank was 6.8 billion. So a 5% increase. The first was issuance of 300 million additional tier 1 capital in the international market as a coupon of 4%, and second was the successful completion of the fifth bond issuance of US dollar 500 million under the bank 2 billion EMTN program in international debt capital market. QAIB, it is 544 million, that is 6% up again. Revenue growth of 4.3% year on year, asset growth of 5.3% year on year, financing asset growth of 16% year on year. Cost income ratio 18.3%, NPL at 1.6%, NPL at 1.6%. The Qatari banks performed in the second quarter again. It includes Barwa Bank, 5.33 billion, rather 0.533 billion, that is 533 million. CBQ, Fantastic performance, 1.33 billion, 47%. So their asset growth is 12.8%. Customer loan growth is around 15.6%. Overall decrease in non-interest income was mainly due to lower forex and trading income. And subsidy al alternate bank due to challenging conditions in Turkey. The non-performing loan ratio decreased by 4. Point, decreased to 4.1%. 4 Good performance as a whole. Now, when it comes to ADCB, Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank, 2.52 billion, 76% increase. The growth in net profit is a result of increase in interest diversified revenue stream, disciplined cost control, and prudent approach to risk management. Three factors revenues, diversification, rationalization, cost, and prudent risk management. ADCB reported 180 basis points improvement for in, to cost income ratio. Mashak Bank 0.085, that is 84.11. Loan growth of 8%, a growth deposit 8.1%. So there is a minus 84.11% reduction. That is, they have reported a profit of 85 million. Loan growth 8%. Deposit is 8% again. Impairment allowance stands at 1.5 billion. It was last year 975 million for the first half of 2020. Reflecting conservative provisioning policy, non performing loans to gross loan was 4.7% as the end of June 2021. So that's the situation as such. When it comes to back musket, 94.65. Million Qatar Omani Riyal, that is 36 percent. 
an increase of 36%, mainly due to lower impairment charges, net interest income from converting the, the opportunities in the local market. Islamic banking has played a role. Non-interest income increased by 15.5%. Operating expenses increased by just 1.2%. Impairment in the credit and other losses for six months was 35.33. So precautionary and collective provision created by the bank during the first half of 2020 due to the onset of COVID-19 pandemic and the historic decline in global crude oil prices. However, the loan growth, if you look at it, it's 2.7% year on year. Customer growth is, uh, deposit growth is flat. National Bank of Kuwait again, when it comes to uh, Kuwaiti dinars, 160.8 million Kuwaiti dinars, net operating income increased by 9.2%, that's commendable. Asset growth, 6.4%. Loan growth 5.3%, deposit growth 0.9% year on year, NPL at 2.45 and the coverage is 150%. We are seeing positive signs across sectors including buoyant demand for credit by households and tentative accelerations at the project activity in Kuwait which is about 2.2 billion KD expected to be tendered in 2021. Although the low interest rate enrollment continues to challenge and pressure margins, the bank proved, proved resilient in preserving the margin level. The banking system as a whole, if you look at lending growth, 7.64%. That's commendable. Government sector, 12.2%. Real estate, 3.95%. Consumption, 6.28%. Contracting, 4.4%, services 3.06%, trading 6%, deposit growth 6%. Very important. Eight area focus, improvement in fee income, improvement in lending to government sectors and industry sectors, low cost deposit mobilization, continual de-risking, reduction of NPL, further improvement in cost income ratio. These are the areas where we need to focus in the coming days. So there are commentaries from investors at Com Capital or Goldman Sachs or Qatar National Bank Financial Services. So there are reasons to believe we have to learn lessons out of our experience and the suggestions given by the investors or productivity to be mapped into changes in the business model or policies or procedures or controls and we'll make sure we stand up to the expectations.